Right, so this is the beginning of the uh, the ride to the spirit camp. So there's different uh, tribes who are coming together here to oppose this pipeline to defend this water. This is the Missouri. And as they were hearing, the Missouri supplies water for like cent the central United States, basically. And they're saying this isn't just a tribal issue, this is a nationwide issue. Started this this um, ride this morning to to show resistance to the Dakota Access Pipeline and to let people uh, know that we're here too, and we're gonna we're we're gonna fight them every step of the way. Expect to see a lot of the young warriors, a lot of the community leaders, saddle up and ride 30 miles to where the camp is today. We're on the front lines right now. We're gonna fight this pipeline. We're gonna fight big oil. I'm here to oppose the Dakota Access Pipeline. They, they bust, they don't last, and we know that's what's going to happen to our river. Pollute our river and then that's it for us. <laughs> that's our way of life. It's not good any way you look at it. We're riding in protest of the, the Dakota Access Pipeline. It's going to affect everybody. It's a fight for our, our land and our kids. If this pipeline that goes through, if it contaminate this water, this water is going to be dangerous for everybody from here all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. We can live without oil, but we can't live without this water. How do you wash your dishes? How do you wash your body? You get the water from the river and once it's contaminated and bad, you know, it's going to be bad for us as people. All too often, uh, public policy, uh, national policy takes place with, without us in mind. If that pipeline goes through, uh, if it breaks, or when it breaks, they always say that uh, this is all going to be ruined. Not too many places in the world are, are safe and pristine anymore. As far as I know, there are a lot of other tribes that are here in solidarity with us. Good to see so many riders. Oil leaks here, it goes not just here in Standing Rock, but it goes further south. Today you truly are warriors. You're on the front line. You're the first ones, if you will, to stand up for all of our people. The ride is 30 miles long, and when they get there, they're gonna be sitting up in the path of the pipeline, the portal access pipeline, they say they do not want there, and they're on their way there to people. pipeline they're gonna put it through a burial ground right there what happens when that breaks what happens to this what happens to our water it's, it's like the same old story with the government and the agencies and big oil we, are, we don't matter they're coming again when will it stop I am NOT expendable my grandchildren are not expendable we have to fight to live.